Hey guys, Corey here. Today we're doing a short video over a piece of equipment that has worked out pretty good for me. I uh, used it for a few years, zero issues. So that is the Kydex um, tourniquet holder. It is, uh, you can use it for your belt. Um, I'm not sure if there's attachments for Molly, but this particular setup is for a, a belt. I wore this on my duty belt for probably a little bit over two years. Getting in and out of vehicles and doing training, I never once had the tourniquet fall out or even start to fall out. Uh, I kept this on my left hand side, which is my non-dominant side. But uh, like I said, no issues with it. Um, it stayed where it should have stayed and it held the tourniquet just fine. Sorry about that, my dog's a little grumpy today. Uh, I think everybody knows pretty much what a cat tourniquet is. This is the exact configuration I kept it in. Uh, the windless loop, I kept the Velcro open. I already set up the tourniquet, so it was ready to go. So all I had to do was just pull it out, tourniquet's good to go. Um, as you can see, it almost kind of snaps in, so it's a friction fit, uh, upside down. I mean, there's no movement. You don't even hear any rattling or nothing. It's pretty quiet. Uh, you can get these in different colors. Uh, I chose black because that's what our duty gear was. Uh, it has a little Velcro um, cross on the front. You can get different color patches for that. In a second, I'll do a close-up of how this, uh, you can take this off if you don't want to render both through it all the time. But uh, it's just got a little retention clip here. Squeeze the sides, bring it up, you can put it in your vest or on your belt. Um, it does have three screws, you can attach it, uh, or not attach it, you can uh, adjust it uh, up and down a little bit if you want to. I didn't need to, so I just left it where it was. So it just snaps down, that little retention clip comes up. Like I said, I'll give you guys a close up of that in a second. This particular one, I know there's a ton of companies, but it's uh, 1110. Uh, proudly made USA. It says www.1110gear.com. Uh, I'm not affiliated with these guys. Uh, it's just good product. I think it needs to be mentioned. It has holes on the sides and on the bottom, so I never had to worry about moisture. I never had an issue with my uh, tourniquet being wet, even if I wore my gear out in the rain. So overall, great product. Highly recommend it. I'm um, wanting to say it was around like. 30 bucks. I could be a little wrong on that though. I apologize for not knowing the price. Um, but yeah, if you guys are interested for one for your duty belt or just an everyday carry item, highly recommend it. Now let's switch and I'll give you a close up and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hey guys, all right, give you a little bit of close up here. I do apologize for the lighting. Uh, like I said, black Kydex case has the removable uh, patch here. As you can see, it slides in, windlass is vertical. It almost kind of snaps in. All right, so it's, it's not gonna just fall out upside down, no movement. Um, the back here, uh, if you just have a regular belt, you can run right through it. My duty belt, I just snapped it in so you have a retainer. You can see it right there. Squeeze these two sides in. This folds up. You can put your duty belt through there. Snap it down. Fold the retainer back up. And you're good to go. It's locked in. You can adjust this up. As you can see, hopefully, uh, the hole's up here. So you can adjust this up and down a little bit if you like. I did not have to. It worked great for what I needed it for. Um, holes on the sides for drain. Also one on the bottom. So if you get moisture in here, it will dry out. So there's the close-up of the tourniquet case.